Hi everybody, Captain Al speaking with your time training tips and 10 ticks targeted to teaching technical type transport travel through tailored tiny takeaways, episode four, part one. What are the basic functions of the electronic checklist or ECL for the Boeing 747-8? Let's go over the virtual simulator and take a look. We're in the virtual simulator to answer the question of the day. What are the basic functions of the uh, ECL or electronic checklist in the 747-8? And this is part one. The electronic checklist or ECL can be displayed on any one of the three uh, MFDs or multifunction displays. In the dash eight, you have uh, three multifunction displays. You have the left display unit, you have the lower center display unit, and you have the right display unit. On the ICAST display select panel, you have uh, which one of these is active. And right now it's the uh, lower center uh, MFD that is active. And so if you push any of these push buttons, including checklist, it will show up on the lower MFD. Of course, you can display it on here on the lower MFD on the uh, captain's inboard display unit or the first officer's inboard display unit. You can display any of these synoptics or um, in this case we're talking about the checklist on those displays. So if you wanted to bring it over here you could push the left MFD and then you could select checklist and it will come up on this side. Of course normally we like to keep the checklist on the lower MFD and the reason for that is because you can, both crew members can easily uh, swivel their heads to the center and see the checklist. If it's over here, over here, it's a little harder to see. Uh, some people prefer it over here, over here, but more typically than not, it's uh, displayed on the lower MFD. So to bring the checklist up, you push the checklist push button and it appears, and when you want to stow it and get rid of it, you push it again and it will then uh, blank the, in this case, the lower MFD. Okay, so we're going to bring up the uh, checklist on the lower MFD and we're going to expand this just so we can see it a little bit better. And uh, if we push checklist, the push button, it comes up with one of the checklists that's in the uh, queue. In this case, it's the normal checklist for before start. Now, in addition to the uh, checklist being displayed, you have two uh, rotary cursor control selectors, one for the captain and one for the first officer. And these are specifically how we control the cursor and how we make selections uh, on the rotary cursor control to effect the uh, changes on the checklist. So one of the first things we're going to want to do is to reset the checklist uh, to clear out any normal or non-normal things that are in the queue. And so the way we do that is we're going to go to the reset uh, menu and we're going to do a reset all which will kind of clear out anything that's in the checklist from a previous flight. In order to, you'll notice the cursor uh, is magenta and right now it's highlighting MCP uh, physically, if you were to reach down, you turn this clockwise or counterclockwise as far as the selector goes, uh, the rotary selector. And when you, if you turn it clockwise, that will make the cursor go from um, top to bottom and from left to right. So if it, the cursor was up here on normal menu, it would go from normal menu to resets to non-normal and then down here and then go from top to bottom. If you turn the cursor uh, the rotary cursor control counterclockwise, it goes the opposite way. So it'll go from bottom to top, and it'll go from right to left. Now, of course, in the virtual simulator, we do that with our mouse. And so we're going to take our left uh, um, click, and that will be simulating like we're turning clockwise. So if you push it once, uh, it'll take the cursor and go to the next item from top to bottom. If I were to take the uh, rotary cursor control with my mouse and right click it, it's the same thing as turning it counterclockwise. 
So in this case, if I push the right click, it goes the other way from um, bottom to top. And so I can go counterclockwise like you see me doing here, or I can go clockwise by using the left click and the right click of my mouse. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to take this highlighter and in this case I'll go counterclockwise or right click and get to the point where I'm on the resets tab which I am now and then of course to get to the reset menu you have the select button when you push that up will come the reset menu and so we'll push that select button and then we want to check that our checklist database is current now of course in the virtual simulator there's no uh, there's not two checklist databases and there's no dates or revisions so whatever is in here is what's in here but in the airplane you would check that this database is current and uh, then we can move the cursor again going clockwise uh, we can move the cursor until we highlight reset all now we can reset normal just the normal checklist we can reset non-normal we can reset to before takeoff or we can reset all now normally when the first officer does a scan flow and he gets to the point where he's uh, checking the ICAS, this is usually where he will do a, a push checklist and he'll do a reset all to reset the checklist back to normal or back to make sure there's nothing in there that everything's cleared out. And when you push that, you'll notice that it's going to blank the screen and the cursor then will go to normal. and and it's ready to, if you push select now, it'll go to the normal checklist. And it'll go to the first checklist in the normal checklist, which is the pre-flight checklist. So if we were to um, push checklist, that would stow it. And if we were to push it again, it would come back with the first checklist in the normal checklist, which is the pre-flight checklist. And that's really where we want to start, is the pre-flight checklist. And everything else is cleared out now, anything that was maybe remaining from a previous flight is gone. So we always want to do a reset all just to make sure we're back to square one. Now you notice on the uh, pre-flight checklist we've got uh, checklist items. You notice two of them are green and checked off and two of them have gray boxes and are not checked off. These two that have uh, gray boxes are called open loop items. The two that have check marks by them are closed loop items. Open loop items cannot be sensed by the aircraft to be true or false. So in other words, we have to tell the checklist whether this is done or not. Now in some cases you might think, well they, they could have made this a uh, closed loop item, why didn't they? You're going to find checklists like that that say, gee, they could have made this where it, it would do it automatically. But in that case, uh, Boeing designed it uh, because they did not want you to, um, they didn't want a closed loop item, they wanted you to actually have to ch physically check it off and say it's complete. So while some things are uh, closed loop items, other things are open loop items, and we have to check them, respond to them, and then manually check them off. And we do that using the rotary cursor control. In this case you'll notice, because the parking brake is set, it's green and it checks it off. Because the fuel control switches aren't cut off, it checks it off and makes it green. Now if I were to release the parking brake, then the condition would be false. And in that case, it would not check it off and it would go back to a white indication. So watch when I release the parking brake, it now unchecks it. It goes from green to white and nothing's here indicating it's a closed loop item. And now it's not checked off to be complete. And it's not going to be complete until I set the parking brake and then the aircraft senses that to be true and then it sends a signal to go ahead and check that off as complete. So watch as I set the parking brake and now it uh, completes it, checks it off, makes it green uh, because it's sensed to be true and not false within the airplane. As far as the um, open loop items, you have to check these off. So Look at my uh, checklist usage if you're interested in, um, you know, how the checklists are used and what the responses are and things like that. But uh, once the uh, captain calls for the pre-flight checklist and the first officer reads this, he would say oxygen, captain would respond tested 100%, and then he would respond tested 100%, and 
and then the first officer would go ahead and check that off by taking his selector on the FO side and pushing select and that's going to check this box off and make this green. And then the cursor will move down to the next item which is flight instruments and again the captain will respond heading 045 and altimeter 29080 and the first officer would respond heading 045 and altimeter 29080 and again check your heading you know your five places here the heading here and the heading here and the head the mag compass heading the heading here the heading here but it's only one response flight instruments heading altimeter and then we go ahead and check it off when you check it off again it's going to check it off it's going to go green and since these are already green that would complete the checklist and then you'll see a checklist complete circle down here telling you it's complete these items you would not have to read because they're already checked off so if we were doing this pre-flight checklist the only thing we'd have to read would be these two items that would be it and then once we do that and we push select it would go to checklist complete and then you notice the cursor goes down to the normal position and again at this point we would probably we could go to the next checklist if we wanted to by pushing the select button but we'd probably just stow the checklist this time and then what will happen is when you're ready to do the um, before start checklist and you do your flow uh, and you're ready for the checklist then and the captain calls for the before start checklist the first officer would reach up and push checklist and then the next checklist in the sequence would come up automatically which is the before start checklist and you'll notice there's several items that are open loop items. Um, notice passenger signs is already checked off because uh, I turned them on. And uh, the only thing that's a closed loop item here is beacon. Everything else has to be checked. MCP, your V2 heading and altitude, your takeoff speeds, V1, VR, V2, CDU preflight, your trim, taxi and takeoff briefing. The beacon is the only thing that uh, would be a closed loop item. And when you go to both, on the beacon this will check off and then of course you get checklist complete again any questions on uh, how to use a checklist or what the challenge and response are and or flow patterns look at any of my videos on the uh, checklist usage uh, and or uh, flow patterns okay that completes uh, part one we'll come back and look at part two which will be uh, discussing some of these tabs and then part three is going to be getting airborne and doing a non-normal procedure. Thanks for watching.